closer now to a, a landfall. I feel more confident in uh, showing this, this very unusual and what could be a double landfall hurricane. Unbelievable. Here we are at windy.com. This is the European model, which we've talked about this model before. It's typically a very reliable source. They were looking at this yesterday. Today they seem more confident with this storm quite possibly making a double landfall. That's the position of the storm on Thursday morning. And North Carolina for sure will start to see the effects of this storm on Thursday morning. You can see the eye wall or just outside of the eye wall. The center of rotation wind speeds of 135 miles an hour as it's sitting. And those are sustained as it's sitting just off of the coast. So this thing's going to reach far and wide with its wind and its rain. It's going to be a very large, aesthetically big storm and strong uh, with regard to probably a Cat 3 or a Cat 4 by the time it makes possibly a dual landfall. Watch this. And again, this is the European model showing a landfall near Wilmington. Look, do you see that? Slowing down. Actually, it's going to start slowing down this afternoon, this evening, overnight, and in tomorrow. And then Friday coming to almost a stall, making landfall near Wilmington, creating incredible storm surge. We're going to talk about that in the live stream we're going to do here in a couple hours. You can see it coming back out. More than likely, according to these colors, that's restrengthening with wind speeds. Those are sustained, by the way, of 100 miles per hour. And that's at uh, Friday at 10 o'clock at night. Long duration, guys. Long duration event. Going back out to sea. Regaining strength. Making landfall. A secondary landfall near Savannah, Georgia. Right off the coast of Savannah. That's right on the line of uh, South Carolina and Georgia, with the strongest part of the storm being over South Carolina. Wind speeds of 96 miles per hour. Closer to shore, 107. Creating incredible storm surge conditions in this area. And this is Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then sticking around, moving inland, the eye wall going basically over the Atlanta, Georgia area on Monday as a tropical storm, probably a tropical depression. You're talking from the time it makes its first landfall near Wilmington. I mean, that eye wall goes right up to the coast. Thursday night, right around midnight, there's going to be hurricane force winds along that shoreline during the overnight hours of Friday. Look for power to go out Overnight, if it's not already out, by thurs Thursday night into Friday morning. Backing out, going down the coast, Friday, Saturday, all day Saturday, hugging the coast. With the right side of that storm, just hugging the coastline. The eye wall offshore in these warm waters, maintaining some sort of strength. Whether it's a Cat 1, Cat 2, uh, kind of doubt if it'll be a Cat 3, but... We don't know at this point. This is Saturday morning going all along the coast of South Carolina. And that's the strong side of the storm, creating inland flooding, heavy rain because it's moving so slow. Epic flash flooding along this entire area. Tributaries, creeks, streams, all of the tribu of tributaries, lakes, rivers are going to be pushed to the limits. Will the dams in the area hold? All of the dams are going to be challenged during this storm. All of the reservoirs are going to be challenged. So this model is showing a secondary landfall in South, South Carolina on Sunday, the 16th. This thing's going to hang around for a while, guys. It's going to be a long duration event. That's one of many models. But let me show you what's steering this thing. See the different colors here? The blues are low pressures. The, the reddish colors, the orange colors are high pressures. See the ridge here? And this is on Thursday. 
tomorrow, the 13th. And that's Florence right there. The high pressures are what's steering this storm along the coastline. And it's parked right there. And it's been there the whole time, but it's going to extend over into the central part of the United States, creating that curve-like signature that's going to steer that storm right there along the coastline. That's why it's doing what it's doing, that high-pressure system right there. So we can step it forward a, let's see, go back to 48 hours. That's Friday the 14th, still hanging around the shore. Then we're moving up to the 16th. Now it's down by South Carolina, going inland to Georgia, more than likely as a tropical storm, bringing copious rain to the areas of Georgia, South Carolina, as far inland as Tennessee, uh, parts of Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, up into Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, later on next week. Unbelievable scene, guys. This is a big, powerful storm that's hours away from...